Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification. Today is Tuesday, so we're gonna take a look at the new Atomic Shop update if there is any. <laughs> I haven't had the, the chance to spoil it, so I'm gonna be uh, coming with that first impression. Uh, then we're gonna take a look at the daily weekly challenges, and we're gonna take a look at the daily ops. See what we're gonna be facing today. So, let's not waste time, jump right into it. Alright, so let's begin with the Atomic Shop. Let's see what we got today. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that looks pretty dope. So it actually makes snow? Cool. So, the bundle. Includes Robco snow machine. That's the thing that we just looked at. Then a Volt Boy snow globe lamp. That's the thing right there. Volt Boy elf uh, lounge gnome. So I believe that's the floor decor. Uh, Wasteland snowman. That's actually pretty dope. Uh, mechanical bucking behemoth. Huh. Interesting. That's actually pretty interesting. 1,200 atoms. Surprise, it's not 1,500. Because for the past couple of weeks with the new bundles, they were like 1,500, man. <laughs> 1,500. 1,500. Uh, but yeah, this actually looks good. I don't know. What do you think? Well, I think I'm actually going to buy it and make a review for it. That's what I think. Uh, most probably, yeah, I'm going to do so. Okay, so this is what we had last week. I did not want to buy it, but maybe I should, cause, or maybe I'll just buy things individually. Uh, I'll think about it. Because for me, like, there's no need for this power armor, to be honest. And... If I buy just these three, I'm saving 500 atoms. That sounds good. Alright, then we got the Shelter's Mainframe Bundle. We already looked at that a couple of weeks ago. So that's nothing interesting. Scrapper Power Armor Skin. Well, the bundle itself is actually pretty good. So if you go and check out my uh, playlist before you buy, I would actually recommend waiting for with the bundle. But now since we have this sort of feature with uh, already owned minus atoms and so stuff like that you see you, you can buy it but have in mind it is pretty old and I already own it so I don't know what's the discount for it unfortunately uh, plus the patch notes for me are still not revealed so I can't tell you the price if it's maybe like 50% off maybe it's a good thing to go with scrapper uh, well you know pip boy paints uh, like for me I have a default one the black one and it looks good with all outfits so this is kinda of like optional thing survivalist paint it's part of the also uh, survivalist uh, bundle uh, and I actually really like the bundle so maybe you'd like to wait for the bundle as well green backpack uh, this one I don't remember which one is it is it survivalist or uh, the other one the re revolutionary what the hell that's it? Wow. Wait, what? Didn't we have this last week? Huh. That's pretty lame. By the way, here's the thing. They've returned the holiday survival tent. Uh, Bethesda, maybe it would be really nice if you would finally return the Elite or Advanced Ranger armor, uh, you know, uh, the outfits, uh, NCR, because on my old videos where I was explaining about those, a lot of people actually want those outfits, so uh, if you could bring that back, that would be nice, because ever since you've released it, not a single time did 
that sort of like the outfits ever returned. But but now I see that you've are able to return stuff from Fallout first, so maybe you would consider uh, returning the elite or the advanced versions of the NCR armor, not the default one. The default one anyone gets at any time whenever they apply for the Fallout first. But the Elite one, and uh, personally myself, I love the Elite one. Uh, but the Advanced, they also look really, really, really nice. So it would be really nice if you could uh, kind of like, you know, uh, send it over. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, I'm happy for the bundle to be honest. Most probably I will buy it and I'll make a review for it. Uh, my eyes are really looking for the snow machine, so that might be actually pretty dope. And... I'm actually curious if you can put the snow machine plus the smoke machine. So when I'm going to be doing a review, I'll try to see if that works. Because actually, that will be pretty nice. Also, what I would recommend is to uh, kind of like run through the uh, current sections. Because sometimes some specific items do not make it to the feature list. So since I own a lot of stuff, I might miss out on something on the review. So you might want to check it out and uh, see if... I didn't mention something because as you can see I got a whole bunch of stuff so that what I would recommend on doing alright so that's pretty much the end for the atomic shop let's go and take a look what we got for the challenges so for the challenges daily uh, that's the daily complete daily operation oh, by the way here's my quick question who and how lucky was with these daily uh, ops in terms of getting the new stuff from the new DLC? I'm talking about the Brotherhood of Steel uh, armor uh, plans, uh, the pistol, you know, the weapons. Because so far I got two BOS armor pieces and one uh, melee weapon, which I don't need because I'm not a melee build. I was really looking forward to that stupid pistol. And if I'm not mistaken, that DLC has been up for, what, a month now? That is, like, it, not cool. It, it, I started getting this feeling that Fallout 76 is turning into a, a mobile game. So basically, with all these limitations, you just have to log in uh, and pray to all Fallout 76 gods, please give me my plan. And not borrow signs again, because I got a whole bunch of those. Please. Like, at least remove the duplicates. If you've learned the plan, just make it so it doesn't pop to you again. <laughs> at least. So that increases the chances of getting something that you actually need, you know? So remove the duplicates at least. And then, you know, like, once you got all the rewards from... Uh, rotate those outfits. Or say, ah, sorry, you can't get none. Well, you already got everything. Uh, you know, but I would rotate outfits and actually I would add into the loop more outfits like I don't know make a smaller chance of getting but please the plans if you learn it remove it from the damn list because I'm tired of these uh, borrow signs or borrow sign whatever you however you pronounce it it's like every day I'm playing th like th really I'm gonna do a run I'm gonna show you the last boss today fight if I get that borrow sign again, I'm going to be extremely freaking pissed. <laughs> like, extremely. Because this is three days in a row I was getting that borrow signs. Alright, enough ranting. Let's go. <laughs> uh, complete an event. So, by the way, yeah, do leave your comments. I'm really curious how lucky was you with uh, the daily ops. And I think if Bethesda Spa will be looking on this video. And they're going to be taking a look on those comments. And like, oh man, I think we should change something. No? <laughs> Alright, uh, so complete an event. Straightforward, eat pre-war food, straightforward, uh, kill 25 creatures, straightforward, uh, complete daily challenge 3? Not 5? Cool, thank you. Because uh, I don't like leveling up and stuff like that. Oh, I don't even see that one. Oh, no, there it is. I'm looking here. Duh. So, level up one time. Uh, then uh, we got nuclear winter survive for 10 minutes. By the way, I started playing Nuclear Winter as well, and two days in a row, first place. <laughs> I still got it. Alright, uh, visit your shelter. Alright, that's pretty dope. Uh, what we got for the uh, weekly? For the weekly, buy or sell an item from another player. Okay. Complete daily operations five times. Okay. Complete gold star daily challenge twice. Now, usually it's supposed to be one, but okay. Uh, we'll do that today, do that tomorrow, get this done. 
Uh, complete an event 10 times, okay, harvest wild plants or fungi. I would go with the fungi to the Vendigo cave as uh, there's a lot of fungi in there. Uh, where, is the, where is the cave? Ah, uh, there it is. It's right here. Uh, for the lower players, just uh, run around in the forest region. There's a whole bunch of plants and stuff like that that you can pick up. Oh, wait. Uh, wild plant plants. I, I, yeah, I, I think it's flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, never never mind. Uh, that's still whatever the case is pretty straightforward. Kill a hundred creatures, okay. Kill huge creatures, okay. Uh for lower levels, man. Grafton Monster is a go, Death Claw is a go, and um and join the Queen fight whenever you can. Try to shoot a scorch beast or anything like that, and you'll get it done. Uh, easier death line on death Claw island easier uh, Grafton monsters uh, there's two of them in Charleston and uh, Charleston Capitol building so but they still scale to your level but they're not that difficult to kill so uh, that's pretty much it over there three levels up repeatable XP okay visit another player's shelter honestly like I don't get it it's like people don't build these shelters or I don't know I was not able to complete this challenge not a single time like isn't there supposed to be like an indicator that this person uh, has got a shelter I mean like uh, you see my one my one looks like this and it says like there's a shelter but I've been playing every day and not a single time have I seen another person with a shelter although I didn't really like look into their camp, so maybe I suppose they should do that, but it's weird. As you can see, none of these guys have shelters, I think. But anyway, uh, I think that's it for the uh, the weekly challenges. Yes, that is it. Let's see what we got for the daily ops. Uh, Burrows. Oh. Honestly, I hate that one. A a and kill with resilient. Frickin' hell, man. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright, we're almost at the endos. Boom. Where's that cockroach gonna pop here or the other way? Where is he? Alright, frickin' hell. Oh. Boom! Ha ha ha! Paladin, baby! I'm resilient! Can't stop me! Ain't nothing can stop me! Woohoo! Please don't tell me I'm gonna get that stupid thing again. Oh, I'm carrying so much as well. Great. Here goes nothing! 7 minutes 29 seconds solo. Mm -mm. Scrub grenades, please. Re Ooh, quad combat shotgun. Three. S None. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to borrow signs? Well, I'm gonna give you that. <laughs> Man, this play. This game is a joke. Really. Oh. <laughs> Why? Honestly, it's gonna take us like months, months to get uh, all the plans for the armor, the stuff that we want, if not years. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and what's the point of giving nothing? Like, honestly, like, b better make a rotation of, the, of outfits. Than giving nothing. Like what I've commented before at the uh, start of this video, that would be the best thing to do. Not this. Not borrow signs and nothing. This is this is dumb. All right, let's check out the uh, quad shaga. Interesting, interesting. Where is it? Oh, sort. Ooh, do do do. hundred and twenty-four without perks? 
Sheesh. Interesting. That's critical shots, that's cool. And damage resistance while ah aiming. That's not cool. Because I if I do shotguns I usually go that's mode all the time. If it were to be something like 250 damage resistance while reloading, now that would be nice. Or less VATS AP, but still, pretty decent gun. Oh man. Anyway, Z Clan and everybody else, you all know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond respond to them. So if you want your comments to be read, feel free to comment, just don't swear. And uh, everything will be fine. If you're new and you subscribe, well, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Saul from Ukraine. So I'm from Ukraine. Having in mind that this is not Fallout 76 exclusive channels. A uh, channel. I also do other game, uh, other games, let's plays, and guides and stuff like that. So have that in mind as well. If you want, you can join our Discord. Uh, Discord is more more dedicated for Fallout 76 activity, but also has other uh, game chats as well. Uh, if you want to see the access to specifics specific chats just read our rules and go to the uh, apply for a role so once you apply for the role you will see the chats that you want to see so that's straightforward all those links are down in the video description so once again I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one bye From the